Hello, Grateful Spirits. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Camille Elaine, and welcome to the Grateful Spirit Faith. If you are new to this channel, welcome. On this channel, we talk about God, we talk about Jesus, we do women's devotionals, and we talk about anything encouraging and uplifting for your soul. So welcome to the channel, and welcome to the Biblical Sisterhood if you are new. All right, guys. So today, we are going to be talking about cultivating a heart of gratitude, okay? Gratitude, I just hold so closely to my heart. I love talking about being grateful and just the power of gratitude just because it's like significantly changed my life. Um, I started practicing and expressing gratitude about three years ago, like actually writing it down in a journal and keeping track of it. And I can honestly say it's changed my entire perspective on my life. And I'm here today to talk about it because the Bible tells us everywhere that we can look the bible tells us to be grateful the bible tells us to be you know to come to god with thanksgiving um and it just really warms my heart to be grateful for things because i've seen that being grateful for a lot of things in my life has definitely opened up the doors to more things to be grateful for and just more peace and more joy in my life so we're going to talk about it today so grab your bibles because we are going to be touching bases on some scripture and i hope this video encourages you so Let's get right into it, okay? I first want to start off by saying 2020 was a very challenging year, right? And I, I don't mean to bring it up, but I just want to use this. Like 2020 was so challenging for many, many people across the entire world. Um, you know, with, you know, there were some amazing highs. There could have been some heart-wrenching lows, probably losing a loved one, um, maybe a serious health condition, losing a job or a career, um, maybe a relationship. I mean, who knows what those heart-wrenching lows were, um, but they, they happen, right? And sometimes you wonder, like, can someone truthfully, you know, walk in gratitude or can someone truthfully cultivate a heart of gratitude in suffering? Like, you know, we go through life, we go through trials, we go through tribulations, right? And, and life happens. We get busy, you know, things happen one at one thing after another. And sometimes we can get you know, foggy mind, I like to call it foggy mind, where we kind of just forget. Sometimes we, you know, we, we forget about our blessings in life. And that's why it's always important to express gratitude. I think expressing gratitude is so important. I want to emphasize on the expressing part because I think it's so important because I really believe it's a part of worshiping. It's a part of, um, you know, glorifying and honoring God and thanking him for all that he's done in our lives and thanking him for all that he continues to do for us. So, um, you know, I want to encourage you to write about this. So grab your Bibles. We are going to be looking at 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. And the Apostle Paul tells us, rejoice always, pray constantly, give thanks in everything for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Okay. So we are called as believers to give thanks, to give praise to God. Right. And I think this is important because we have so many things to be grateful for. Even in the trials and the tribulations, we can understand that God is ultimately always going to be here for us and he deserves praise. He, deser he deserves to be glorified for all the good things that he's done in our lives. And I do understand that when you're going through a dark time in your life, sometimes it's hard to like find anything to be grateful for, right? Maybe your surroundings or maybe the, the people that you're around make you feel a certain way and you can't really find anything to be grateful for. I want you to be grateful for just the life that you have, right? Just being able to wake up in the morning and breathing the breath of life is already a miracle and so much to be grateful for. And, you know, I went through a dark time in my life about three years, two, three years ago. And um, I really didn't even know what it was to express gratitude. Like, I didn't know about it. I just thought, like, I was grateful for my life. I never wrote down what I was grateful for. I never expressed it. But when I actually started expressing the things that I was grateful for, I did notice a lot more joy would pour into my life, right? And God would just bless me in the smallest ways, but they were so big to me. And it all came from just expressing gratitude and really thanking God for the things that he's done in my life. And I know that you know, speaking of last year it was just so challenging and just such a really different year for a lot of us. And, you know, maybe there were some times where you really couldn't find anything to be grateful for. And I don't want you to 
harbor too much on that. I just want you to start today, okay? And if you already are started with your gratitude journey, big props to you because gratitude will change your entire life life. It changes your perspective on life, right? It's like when you start expressing this gratitude, like you're literally waking up every day looking for things to be grateful for. Like I remember I wasn't, I didn't know what it was, you know, to be grateful. Like I just thought I was grateful because I just thought I was. But when you actually express the things that you're grateful for, it allows room for more goodness to just come into your lives, right? And um, even in the times where things seem really shaky or maybe you just feel like you're not hearing from God or maybe you're just in a confusing spot in your life, right? Um, you know, gratitude really does open up the door to miracles. It's very true. They even do studies on gratitude and how it changes the minds and perspectives of others. So I do want to encourage you to really grab a piece of paper, grab a journal, right? Or just get down on your knees and pray to God. Like for instance, for me, before I even start asking God anything, I'm already starting my prayer out in Thanksgiving. I'm already thanking God for all of the goodness that he's done. And then I always like to think back to who I used to be and the type of person that I used to be and just how my life was, I always thank God for just delivering me for that, you know, and it always brings me to tears every single time when I start going down memory lane with God and just being grateful for how good he is, right? Just how precious he is to us and just how gracious he is. So gratitude really does change your life. And no matter what season you're in, you know, we are called to be grateful, to be, you know, to come to God with thanksgiving in all circumstances. It doesn't just say in good circumstances, in all circumstances, the good, the bad, the ugly, whatever it is, you know, being grateful, just asking God, hey God, like, I really need you in my life right now. And, I, and I'm so grateful for all the things that you've done for me. So it really does open up the door to great things to happen and to pour into your lives. And I really encourage you to start your gratitude journey, right? Also in the book of Psalms, we know that David was praising and glorifying God no matter what he went through, okay? I'm gonna take a look at Psalm 101 through five so that we can see what David was talking about in his gratitude here. So here we go. So this is a thank to be thankful, a psalm of thanksgiving. Let the whole earth shout triumphly to God. Serve the God with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us and we are his. His people, the sheep of his pasture, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good and his faithful love endures forever. His faithfulness through all generations, okay? This is a psalm from David, okay? And David was so good at glorifying and praising and thanking God no matter what he was going through, right? No matter what trials and tribulations that he was going through. It literally says here how to enter God's gates with thanksgiving, right? Just with gratitude filled in our hearts no matter what it is that we're going through we know that God is going to prevail that God will never forsake us and it's so important because this scripture alone shows nothing but praise and devotion to God and his goodness right this is this is what David is describing here and it's so beautiful to to understand like how God really feels about us right and it's so amazing to see how much he is going to show up in our lives when we just start expressing the things that we're currently grateful for expressing gratitude for the things that we have in our life right now you know even in the hard times you know I just want to encourage you to approach God with thanksgiving you know approach him with thanksgiving with gratitude you know he's our creator right he knows your heart. He knows what you're going through. He knows your struggles. He knows 
all the things that you haven't even expressed to him, right? So I want to encourage you today to go to God with thanksgiving. Give it all to him and let him know how you're feeling. Be grateful for your life. Be grateful that you're able to breathe. Be grateful that you're able to see, that you're able to get up and use your hands to walk. You know, be grateful for every single thing that you can possibly be grateful for. Your perspective on your life will change, right? No matter what the circumstances that you're going through right now, um, being grateful is like the key to unlocking miracles in your life, right? And just really expressing gratitude to our creator will definitely change your perspective on life. So if you are in a trying season right now in your life, I just really want to encourage you to practice gratitude, right? Start out with a piece of paper or a journal or a notebook and really to start thanking God for every single thing that you can think of and watch that list grow. Watch God show up more and more in your life and just really understand that cultivating a heart of gratitude in every situation will benefit you more than anything, okay? Um, I hope this message resonates with anyone out there and I hope you were able to grab anything from this message today. Thank you so much for watching. If you need a prayer request, the email is thegratefulspiritfaith at gmail.com and you can follow us over at Instagram. I'm always open to my DMs. If you need a friend or someone to talk to, I'm always here for you. So start your gratitude today. Enter God's courts with thanksgiving, with praise, you know, recognize all the goodness that he's done for your life and understand that he will never, ever forsake you. Thank you so much for joining us today, sis. I will catch you all in my next video. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>